Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. Everyone wanted to see the curious combo, so that's what I'm going to go through now. You're going to use Pen Call plus Dark Worm. Now, for the combos, I'm going to give you guys a short explanation. I no longer use skills for the combos because it's not specific. You can do this by just drawing any 8 scale and any low scale. Now, the thing is to it, we used to be able to manipulate our skills while Electromite was about. I could the skills were specific then and you could pick choose and refuse what you want to do now that it is banned you just have to do it with what you draw so that's the point of me not doing the combos with scales because no matter what you draw you should be able to do this as long as you're able to scale up and pendulum on someone now we're going to discard dark room with pen call we're going to take two searches harmonize is not mandatory and then celestial magician is just really good for the combo because it can be normal someone then we're going to use Dark Worm Effect. Effect to add Gate 0. We're going to Normal Summon Celestial Magician and use Effect to search during our end phase. Now, a lot of persons thought Celestial Magician doesn't work on Normal Summon, it does. I don't know why you think it's any time during the turn, but it's on Summon. But, anyways, Link Off. We'll go for our Harmonizing Apprentice, we wish. Apologies, we are printed switch. Um, anyways, the thing is with this, you're always guaranteed to summon this because every single monster in your main deck that you can summon and will summon is dark. Nothing else. So, you will always have that life. Now, let's begin the combo. So, it's time to pendulum summon. Harmonizing effect. Now, the thing is with the harmonizing effect is that what I'm going to summon here is going to be double iris magician. No, it really didn't matter what you summoned because you're not going to use it to do anything. All right, so what we're going to do now is link someone using a dark spellcaster, dark dragon, and dark fiend, and go into our curious. Double iris will be banished. Curious effect on someone. What I'm going to send here is time pendulum graph. No. Because I sent time pendulum graph from deck to grave, I get to mill three. Now, milling three is a gamble. The thing is to it, you don't want to see any of your Phantom Nice engine be milled. However, what you would love to see is any spell card, just even one and any spell cast too. That's really good. Moving on. It's time to go into our Selene. We'll use Selene's effect. On someone, it gets three counters at minimum. Remember, you're going to mill, so the mill will matter. Then it's time to link on up. And we're going to do the dirtiest combo ever because it only required two months. So. Let's actually do it on this side of the field. So, first on up, we're going to use Codebreaker Virus Swordsman Effect. Summon Zero Day. The only common card in your deck hurts to play. Link off both of them to go into your Berserker. Berserker is co-linked, I get the special back too. Now I can link off, going to Rusty. Rusty's effect, I am going to send Cloak to set Fogblade. I am going to banish Cloak by its own effect to add Boots. Boots is going to special summon himself because I have Rusty on field because persons literally don't know that, I don't know why. And I'm going to link off with both of them to summon Peter. Now you would have always had a card in your hand because this was a two card commons, two scales, just two cards. You are going to pitch the card from your hand, you're going to set your time pendulum graph. Cannot be activated this turn. Which doesn't bother you. And you're going to now banish boots and add your secondary fog blade. The combo doesn't end here, so during the end phase, you'll get to add, because of Celestial Magician, you're going to add your Big Daddy and Demon. During your opponent's turn, on your first opportunity, you sell in and summon it in defense. If you had milled any spell card or well, any spell card, 
you would have been able to mount Celine as an extra negate. But Endymion is not bad to have around either way. Truth be told, remember I play Abductor, so this is actually a really easy thing to do. You play with triple um, spell of mastery. You could be looking at a Jackal King here and along with the Servant. But I'm not going to put in those additives here. I'm just going to use what is here. Now, the thing is with this board, your opponent is locked out of effects. You're going to pop and send. Because if your scale is a magician, which at least one of them will be, you're just going to raw tear them up. Two monster negates. And then they still have this to go around. Now, the combo might be a little bit soft, but the truth be told, I wasn't really playing Curious for the main deck. No, I was actually playing him for game two because a lot of persons like to use Dark Ruler no more, so what I would have set was Imperial Order. And now look at the difference. There's no way my opponent wins. Full stop, period. It's done. It's a wrap. Alright, so that's the combo for the Curious. What you really are going to send is Imperial Order going into game two or three. So you're just going to tear up your opponent there. Truth be told, m most persons are going to be playing Invoked, Dogmatical. They have no way of dealing with this. They ought to lose. That's just it. That's just facts. Alright guys, thanks for watching. You can tell me what you think down below. I might be changing the method of how I do this combo going towards the future. Remember, I don't copy these videos from anyone. So they're all original. So I normally think about them by myself. So if you guys have any advice, I'll surely listen. Alright, that's it guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.